Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding and thanks a lot for tuning in again. Today I'm going to be doing my version of the two-day split today. It's going to be different. It's always different, right? There's different ways you can do your split program. Sometimes you do higher volume, sometimes you do lower volume, sometimes you keep with the same exercise, sometimes you do multiple exercises. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a higher volume workout for my chest, back and biceps. And I did finish off with some calves, although I do a lot of body weight type stuff for calves. So because it's body weight, it takes forever. Like I'm doing 50 to 100 or 200 reps or whatever with a calf I didn't really include a lot of calf exercises because of that now today what I'm going to talk about it's not about exercise form or range of motion or constant tension or any of this kind of stuff what I'm going to talk to you about is something that relates to the video that I just put up passion versus information uh, but this one what I'm going to do is talk to you about feeling and that you're better off chasing the feeling in your workouts than the numbers. Now, I know I was joking around with a couple guys in the comments and they're talking about how they need to mark down their numbers and plan their workouts in advance, but there's a lot of stuff that can happen between now and say six months from now. So say you plan your workout six months in advance. I mean, that seems like it's ludicrous in a way. I mean, some people can plan whatever they want, but we know that life gets in the way of your plans. I mean, any of you that have lived long enough to understand that you make plans and then all of a sudden some different circumstances pop up. Sometimes it's an injury. Sometimes it's a diet choice. Sometimes, you know, your body is uh, developing really well, but you notice that it develops better uh, by deviating from the initial plan that you had. Russ is going to hang out and be the cameraman tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Watch me go. Come on, man! You're just not a you're not a team player. Not a team player. You start to evolve and realize that hey, something else is working better for me than what I initially thought would work the best. So, say you were heavily invested in just doing pyramid type training, and you're just working up to super heavy weights all the time, and then all of a sudden, just by accident, you do this workout this one time, you deviate from the plan, and you get this wicked pump, and your muscles start popping up all over the place. You start lifting heavier weights because of it. Well, obviously, it would be smart to deviate from the plan in that moment. So, this is the thing. A lot of people forget that feeling trumps plan. So being in the moment and being with your body and responding to what you're feeling, to respond what what is happening, that always will trump plan, right? You know, in, in, in an obvious example, we could say, well, what if you broke an arm? Obviously, it would be stupid to go to do bench press day if your arm is broken, right? I mean, what kind of an idiot tries to bench press with a broken arm? So. I'm sure there's a couple of you out there. I'm not going to say that there isn't because I'm sure there's a couple of you because a couple of you probably have the same stubbornness that I had when I was first training. And I'm sure that a few of you have tried to do it, you know, have a broken hand or something and still bench press anyway. But, but anyway, that's, that's beside the point. But the bottom line is, is that we know that experiencing the muscle deeply, experiencing the groove deeply, experiencing how the body talks to you very deeply will help you find the right way to stimulate the muscle in this moment much more effectively than blindly following a plan which doesn't take into account a million other factors or variables that can pop up in any one given moment. So 
So as far as today goes, I plan on just doing flat dumbbells and then going into my back training. But I felt like my upper chest and my delts needed a little bit of a stretch in a different angle. It just felt like the right thing to do. And you start to learn positive reinforcement, like what this feeling really is, this feeling of growth. You start to realize that there's certain feelings that you get in the body that are positive that create growth and then certain feelings that are negative that create injury. So you get this really in tune sort of awareness as you go through your years of training and you start to develop this on a deeper level, right? So you'll start to make decisions based on this inner compass instead of making it based on a program that's written down on a piece of paper that might be going in opposition to what's really happening in your system at that time. So as you can see with the pull-ups, I'm leaning back and doing back pull-ups, not uh, internal rotator cuff pull-ups like I do from time to time as well. Sometimes I come all the way up and bring my chin a little bit over the bar, uh, but that doesn't stimulate the back quite as well as these ones do. And this again, boils down to feeling. Over the years, I was doing different types of chins and when I was putting my chin over the bar, I was noticing I was feeling my rotator cuff, I was feeling my biceps, I was feeling my rear delts, but I was not feeling my lats that much and my physique started to develop accordingly. I started to actually develop really awesome arms, but my back wasn't developing. So only until I changed my technique and how I do a pull up and how I do a row, only until then, that's, that's when my back started to develop and that's why my back is one of my best body parts now. So incline curls is a primary example of feeling trumping plan because say you get a plan from someone and they say hey uh, this is the plan I followed in order to get big biceps do incline curls at a particular angle and that's how you do it uh, but what if that angle is not necessarily suited towards your body type what if you're not feeling the tension in the bicep brachii but you're feeling it all in the front delts or you're feeling it all in the brachialis uh, you may be not getting a great pump from that particular exercise. So obviously you can't follow somebody else's plan, uh, but that's what's going on, on the internet all the time. People are saying, follow my plan, follow this plan, follow that plan, and don't account for your own individuality. And this is what's causing a lot of problems in people's training. Uh, although it's good to start with a plan, you want to, again, deepen your awareness and always go towards the feeling. Start deepening your feeling, deepening your experience of everything you're doing. And you'll start to become very wise in this because you'll start to realize what are good feelings and what are not so good feelings and how to respond to them. For instance, another thing to, to consider is that during an exercise such as incline curls, uh, doing five rep sets might not necessarily be right for you, but for somebody else, it might be right for them because what happens is that there's different stability that comes in in the shoulder. The shoulder will have to stabilize a little bit more when you're doing heavier weight. And sometimes because of that, there's a certain threshold that when you pass over that, when you start to go beyond a certain weight, so say from 25 to 30 pounds, or from 30 pounds to 35 pounds, there might be a certain threshold where you start to notice that the stress starts to transfer more to the muscles responsible for stabilizing instead of actually the muscles responsible for moving such as the bicep and if you want the bicep to hit failure first you obviously don't want the rotator cuff or the front delt to hit failure first so for each person this will be different so nobody can really give you the exact answer all they can do is show you what to pay attention to and say listen if you're not necessarily getting biceps that are hitting failure in the exercise try this try that try a different angle try a different rep range try a different amount of weight 
You know, maybe you need to strain like I'm doing here, or maybe you need to just stick with the lightweights most of the time. And again, always account for a day-to-day -day basis. So some days the feeling will tell you something different than others. The other thing to do is to adjust your form. Sometimes you might have to externally rotate the dumbbells like I'm doing here and bring the dumbbells out a little bit in order to stimulate more of the bicep instead of the front delt. Now for some people this will be the right thing and for some people it'll be a horrible thing because it'll be hard on their shoulders. So again, feeling trumping plan. Pretty genius, huh? That's what I think. I think it's pretty genius. So feeling versus plan uh, really applies to picking your rep range for the day too, because sometimes certain rep ranges feel right. Sometimes I've walked in the gym and I feel like doing super heavy weight or heavy calf raises. And then some days I feel like the connection to the muscle with the lighter weight is the more important thing and getting the burn. Sometimes the burn is more important than the pull or the tearing feeling, you see? So this feeling will help guide you. And it's almost like you just get an intuitive wisdom about what is the most appropriate thing in order to achieve growth and strength on that day. And this just happens automatically as you just keep paying attention to your training. So here I'm gonna go uh, do a couple kicks here, just at the end here, just, you know, yeah, right on, take that, take that. Okay, you get that there, Asquatch. Okay, yeah, Sasquatch. I'm just taking out the Sasquatch right now. I gotta, I gotta kick a little bit higher if I wanna get a Sasquatch, but yeah, I'm just working on that. Come on, Jason, you could do it. Come on, man. Come on, keep kicking, keep kicking. Just like, there's a Galantian martial arts right here. See, this is pretty entertaining, eh? Look at that. I mean, there's a whole bunch of ghosts that are getting knocked out right now. You guys just can't see them. Like, there's ninja ghosts that I'm actually kicking. And they're, they're like, they're piling up all over the ground and everything. This is what you'll be able to do as you pay attention to the feeling rather than the plan because nobody else can see my imaginary friends, but I can feel them. You see? Wham. Yeah, take that. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah, take that. Yeah. Yeah, keep talking, man. Keep talking. Boom. See? Boom. Yeah, they're just dropping like flies. So yeah, feeling versus plan. And uh, a little bit of a dose of insanity in there too. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you guys are getting huge. I hope you guys are like massive Galanteans and representing the Galantean name awesomely, or whatever word you want to come up with. And thanks a lot for watching and thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters, of course. And if you need to get hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and take care for now. Mm -hmm.